Hey guys, this is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and in today's video I thought it might be interesting to see how I make a DIY Heidi house because Heidi houses are one of the most important things that you need in your rabbit's habitat and it doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be fancy, you can literally just take a plain cardboard box and that can be your Heidi house. So I'm kind of doing a very large Heidi house for this video just for their playtime area but I thought you guys could take some tips from it. So the first thing I'm doing is taking all of the tape off of the cardboard boxes. This could be a tedious task depending on what type of tape is on the box. Um, so it's kind of frustrating at times, but you can also see I'm using a utility knife to cut halfway through the cardboard and peel off labels and stuff like that. That's a good tip for if labels aren't coming off, just cut half of the cardboard, like one layer of the cardboard off. You can also do that on little ink spots. Uh, so if the cardboard has any like little labels on it, you can just cut it off so that they aren't ingesting any ink if your rabbit was to chew that area. And as you can see here, after I was done with that, I had leaves all over the floor because one of my cardboard boxes had leaves in it. I don't know why. Um, so I'm just vacuuming real quick before I start assembling my boxes. So. Here I'm just going ahead and figuring out what boxes I want to use for the Heidi house and I decided to use two large ones and then like a narrow one for like a little tunnel and then I just fold the cardboard boxes so that they stay closed. Now I'm just cutting little doors in the tunnel one. So just cutting two doors, one on each end, and then on the big cardboard boxes, I'm taking off some of the ink here, but then I am also uh, cutting doors so that it aligns with the little tunnel. And then I'm doing the same thing for the other large cardboard box, taking the ink off and then going ahead and cutting two holes in it for little doors and entrances. And then I take some binder clips and I crawl in the box and I actually clip the binder clips to the door openings so that the door openings of the tunnel and the large cardboard boxes are connected and they won't move or pull apart. That's a good tip so you don't have to use tape. So then I decided to cut little windows in the tunnel because I thought that would be cute and the rabbits might enjoy that. And then I went ahead and let Sterling and Ebony out so that they could come out and play and explore this new hidey house, which they had a lot of fun doing. I didn't happen to get Lulu coming out and playing. That's just because the day I filmed this, she just wasn't feeling up to having coming out and playing. Uh, I tried, I left the door open for like an hour and she just stayed in her room so I figured she just wasn't up for it that day. But I will say the very next day she had a blast running through the tunnels, running through the box. So yeah, all the bunnies really enjoyed it. So now I just thought I would show you some cute clips of the bunnies running around their new little hidey house. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys use this idea and make your own hidey houses for your rabbits. 